Welcome to Minity Maths. In this video we are going to look at the different types of correlation we can determine from scatter graphs. What is correlation? Correlation means how closely two sets of data are related. For example, cola sales increasing as the temperature increases. This information can be visually represented on a scatter graph. If we can draw a line of best fit, then we can say that cola sales and temperature are correlated. However, it's important to remember that just because two things are correlated, doesn't always mean that an increase or decrease in one thing, has caused the increase or decrease in the other. In this example, we can't be certain that the increase in temperature has caused the increase in cola sales, even though it may seem likely. There could have been a discount or offer on the price of the cola on the day the data was collected, which could have been the cause for the increase in sales. Therefore, correlation does not always indicate causation, so it's important to consider other factors. There are different types of correlation. Positive or negative. And strong or weak. Let's have a look at positive correlations. Here is the same cola sales example. This scatter graph shows that there is a positive correlation, because cola sales increase as the temperature increases. Both variables increase. We can also say that this is a strong correlation as the plots closely follow the line of best fit. If the plots looked like this, we would say there is a weak correlation. Now let's have a look at another example. This scatter graph shows that as the number of cats living at an allotment site increase, the number of mice decrease. This shows a negative correlation. In particular, a strong, negative, correlation. As one variable increases, the other decreases. What if the scatter graph looked like this? We can see that the sales of sofas has no obvious relationship to the temperature. We would say there is no correlation. Have a go at this practice question and pause the video while you work it out. Thanks for watching Minity Maths.